it has been a long time since I did a live. Uh, what's this? You can now pin a message to the, to the top of your live chat. Ah, okay. Got that. Okay, guys, I know, uh, I, I admit it, I'm, I'm the, I'm one of the very, maybe I'm just the one <laughs> who does live, even without an audience. But anyway, I wanted to, you know, uh, share stories with you about, uh, some cleaning tips. I'm not a guru, guys, but just maybe I just want to share to you the, the energy, right in cleaning or this time i'm just gonna hang clothes with you but uh, also to discuss uh tips um tips on hanging clothes or if you have no space at home and then also like how orderly you can start cleaning at home i know it's it's been a problem like which one which is first which is last which is you know i'll do later like that right so anyways because Guys, I wanted, I, if you watch my shorts, uh, clips, I, um, how do you call this? Uh, I, uh, posted recently, uh, uh, a shorts, uh, podcast. It's a, so blast podcast. And it's about, uh, starting, uh, starting your business, a small business at home, right? So, uh, I wanted to do this as a as one like that. Uh, however, you know, editing and all is too a lot of work. But even if it's all still a shorts shorts video, uh, I hope somebody's watching, ba? I don't know. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so guys, I'm you know I'm having I have this uh, thing, guys. Um. When I when if you uh, watch my other live streams, I fell from doing some yoga poses way back, way back. So don't ever do that. Master first, practice before you do anything. Um, you know, it has been already like I always feel that like my half my body is like I have a I've had a stroke like that. I ha I had a mild stroke. That's the real thing when you, you know, I, I, I hurt my head when I fell into the bakasana pose. Basta you, you research on that, the bakasana pose that when you use your arm and then you float like that. So I fell, I fell when I, when I was practicing that because I wanted to be, I, I was rushing, you know, to do poses, but don't ever do that. So anyways, so guys, I'm just, you know, this is what I do at home when I'm bored, when I'm, yeah, just there's nothing to do, right? Aside from well, aside from I be I'm already I'm I'm out in in Seven Eleven <laughs> doing my content creation because my son is already out, um, uh, out of the country. He's uh, spending his time there, uh, so I miss them. So anyway, I'm here in the Philippines with my parents. So, yep. So anyways, I hope. Yeah, so guys, so this one, actually, guys here, oh, I have here my sinampay or things I've already washed a while ago that I'm going to hang while I'm speaking with you, talking to you or uh, uh, sharing stories with you. But anyways, yeah, guys, so let's start with uh, the tips while um, uh, with tips in hanging clothes something i've learned okay guys in this room not really i'm not gonna show you everything guys ha but in this room guys very quick lang ang gulo lang it's a mess it's a mess so in this room guys um my son we lived here for a long time in this room yeah so now i'm really like i'm just with the teddy bear that's just my companion aside from my parents I'm lucky to still have them around, you know. But anyways, so guys, I've learned so much in coping with very small space. I'm not saying that I'm I'm, I'm thankful that I live with my parents. This is their home, their abode. I'm grateful for that, guys, but the reality is this is just what I occupy. <laughs> right? So, uh before well, there's a lot of help here, but, you know, things, 
uh, things have changed, of course. Times have changed. So, we have to budget things. Um, so, anyway. So, the, uh, there's only the three of us at home. So, and then, I remember, whenever I do my laundry here, ever since I got back from the States, of course, in the States, right, they have their, their washing machine and everything, draft-free uh, machine. So, it's very convenient there. But here, you have to make some pie or you hang it, right? So, this one is already, this one is actually updated or upgraded, guys, isn't it? But uh, when I was small, diba, you have those uh, clothes pin, like this one, guys, right? Remember that, guys, when you were, well, if you are of the same age as I am, I'm in my 40s. So, remember when you have your sampayan or maybe some abroad, they also do that. They also hang clothes under the sun, right? So, I miss those days, right? So, anyway, so this one. So, the tip. Okay, what's the hack, Carmina? Okay. So, whenever I wanted to save electricity, what I will do. Of course, the underwears, the undies are separate, of course. If uh, if you can do that, like, um, uh, really, like, uh, run in the machine, of course, it's uh, best, right? But what I do sometimes because I only have a hand, like myself, to do it alone as a single mother, because raising a child alone is not easy. Though financially, I'm not, you know, uh, <laughs> financially, I'm not doing it alone with my, I'm co-parenting my son with my parents because I can't afford, guys. Uh, I worked for a very short time. Anyway, just look, just watch my live streams, guys. You will know about me. Um, so anyway, so guys, that's, I, when I was just, you know, wanted to, like, you know, save electricity, what I want, what I did was, if it's just my clothes, I will just, you know, some of them, I will really just soak it in soap. Just now, I added baking soda because, you know, I, ha I, I had been into this just lately, into cleaning because it's already my therapy. You know, it, it makes me feel uh, happy and good whenever I clean. I hope you do too, right? Uh, I'm sharing the energy because, well, that's that's real life, right? You have to clean at home. You have to do chores. So anyway, what I do, okay, to make the story short. So after I, I have soaked it well, I sometimes uh, do the mano mano or manual scrubbing of the clothes. I still do that, guys. If 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 it's if there's just like five pieces, like a pair of jeans, then three shirts, a polo, I just soak it. But one thing, I only, the maximum I can soak it is just overnight. Not even 12 hours, 8 hours. Because the soap with water goes bad, right? So you don't, you don't want to do that. Sino po yung... <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, guys, so what I do after I had washed it with soap, I rinse it well, and then this one, I... Hi po. I rinse it well, and then... I hang this. So, it's wet, right? So, uh, I didn't have to even squeeze it because I got tired of guys every year from the time my son was small. We have two sets of clothes. I would soak it in water and uh, soap. And then, of course, it's soapy. I leave it overnight. Sometimes, less than an, less than eight hours, half the day when I'm at home, that will, uh, no, that will uh, soak. And then, after that, I'm going to scrub it. This is without electricity, just saving. And then after, so I'm going to rinse it, well, three times. And until the water is really clear, not cloudy. Sometimes, guys, that's why it, as, uh, our clothing's smell, well, besides, besides whatever your personal hygiene practice is, uh, which we all do, right? We, we all uh, undergo that, right? You, un unless... Whatever, you, you you forgot to take a shower or you didn't take a shower. But anyways, so sometimes it's not really how, uh, it's not really the type of soap, the fabric conditioner. It does matter, the water, but also how it was um, washed, rinsed, and dried, right? We know that, right, guys? Sometimes, right, even towels, you know, when you hang towels, if it's not rightly 
you know, ha washed, ha um, rinsed, and then squeezed well, it's not good. It's not gonna dry good, right? So it's gonna remain its odor. So I think that's, that's just the secret. And how do they do it in the old days, right? They even have those, you know, the laundry, how do you call this, guys? Gadgaran or laundry board and the panghampas like that. It's like a da <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, those guys, those things. So what I'm going to do after I rinse it, I won't even squeeze it because there's a lot of clothes. I'm already sore. I am a single parent. I have to do a lot of things. I was working those days. I just thought that I, I need to share this to you. If you're a single parent, you're having a hard time in managing the, your laundry, plus you have personal problems, you have your child, you have your, you have your utang that you have to pay or debt that you have to pay. <laughs> Those things, right? Uh, I, why, why don't you why don't you think of ways that will make life easier, right? So, again, guys, paulit ulit ako over and over, guys. After rinsing the clothes, running water, I don't even squeeze it anymore. If I have a hundred clothes lined up, I will just hang it, get a hanger, let this, uh, let this drip in the restroom, in the in your bathroom. Of course, many of us, right, if you have only a room or a space, and then, sorry, <laughs> guys, so this one, you just said let it drip. Like three hours, I would say, it's really like already extracted, though, extra, extra water. I didn't even make piga, ah. I didn't make, I didn't even squeeze it. Yeah, that's what I realized. If you have 500 clothes and you did that, are you going to squeeze it all? That's, that's uh, anyway, you're not going <laughs> to... You're gonna, you're not gonna wash uh, your clothes in ano five hundreds, right? Of course, I'm talking about less than ten clothing, you know, soiled clothes. So yeah, so you just hang it, and then after three hours, you get the hanger itself. Maybe just check the um, underneath if it's still you know umutulo or is still dripping. Maybe just a little squeeze here, but barely. Uh, three hours really is um, to be like almost all the um, almost all the moisture has been extracted. Yeah, because I when I when uh, my son was growing, I was like every every time, guys, my these ones are already uh, sore. So and now I even have that my half my body. Sometimes I feel like I have I I always have a stroke. That's why I I can't be. I can't be stressed or I can't be... Yeah, that's my condition, guys. I'm weird, I know. I can't get too excited or get too too sad. <laughs> so it's hard. So anyway, guys, so so this is my favorite hobby. That's why Finds TV Hobby Homeschool is, uh, has been created. It's because of that. Because I have um, extra hours to do so, right? So again, guys, so that's a good tip, right? You don't even have to squeeze it. Hang it and then leave it for three hours. And then you can now that this, this is the next step. What I'm going to do is I'll hang this now. Before we do the other discussions of the how can we what are order what in how do I start cleaning at home and how do we make kids to clean with us or to do home chores, right? So guys, I'm going to just stand up because you've seen my shorts a while ago i honestly um did a shorts clip if you've seen it guys thank you guys if you've seen it i was um sorting clothes of mom and dad because the the their bedroom there's currently they're sleeping downstairs in the living room guys <laughs> every every time every since we got uh, back from the states because I we spent a uh, vacation with my sister in Florida. So when we got back here, January, mom and dad has been sleeping downstairs because all our, you know, we have a lot of clothes here, guys. A lot. Ever since, you know, the time of, the time of, uh, you know, the band Menudo, those days. <laughs> it's still here, all the clutters. I'm just kidding, guys, but... A lot of collections here. Anyway, so guys, so these ones are my clothes. I've removed already the private things. I already hung it. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys. But this one, like uh, some shorts, I'm going to hang with you. So this has been already drip. Uh, I let it drip already or extracted the water in the restroom. 
So lucky you if you have your uh if you have uh the outside to hang your clothes under the sun. The, uh, here you know in 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 mom and dad's place it's so it's not nice to hang clothes. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, so do whatever. So when you hang clothes, guys, do you do it the other way around or the outside, the inside out um, style ba? Or you do it like you already have it ready to wear after it's been dried? So I, ako, baliktad, I do it outside. Uh, the ugly side up. How do you say that? Anyways. So guys, this one, I've washed this. This is, uh, I've seen my shorts about uh, when I made a multi-purpose uh, apron clothing that's convertible to anything, apron, top, bottom, whatever, guys. I have so much free time, so that's what I do, guys. Guys, don't go away yet because I'm going to share to you some tips. It's been a while, guys, since I got, I, went, I did live the last time was, I think it's, I hope the signal is okay. You know, guys, because I'm just using a prepaid um, Wi-Fi. Right? Guys, if you have problems with, like, your your whites, you're having problems, like, sometimes you have stains here in the neckline, which is um, very natural, guys. Of course, we are, we all do perspire. Uh, we have uh, personal um, human skin debris <laughs> and odor. Of course, right? Because we are humans. And then we have um, stains in the armpit. Uh, go do watch, uh, please go do watch my uh, vlog on that. I just recently, just like my recent videos, vlogs. Yeah, so guys. Okay, honesty. Well, if you've noticed, guys, I like wearing whites. It's because um work wise that's what i'm used to uh since i'm a baker by profession which i'm always in the kitchen anyway so i, I always wear whites yeah so is this one i have the uh, fan i have the fan here you see it's obvious so yeah so guys what about you so when you're cleaning or when you're uninspired to do cleaning and everything, like no motivation at all, tinatamad, I'm lazy, I don't want to do it, I don't have a life, I don't have a love life, <laughs> you watch with me. I mean, you clean with me. Watch watch my vlogs. Because this channel has so much, um, has a lot of uh, things, has a lot of um, subjects to tackle. Right? It's so broad, right? Finds, finds people, places, situations, occasions, events, whatever I find to share with you. Lessons from other people. Um, hobbies. There's a lot of ways to spend our free time. Sometimes hobbies are made already into a business. Many of you, I think, maybe your passion. Right? So, me too. Before, well, I, I love baking, so... I taught baking. That's that has been a business. Yeah. So guys, uh, if you want to ask me, uh, how come you only have those uh, number of clothes? Because midweek I already wash some clothes. Um, I've learned that right. So it's it makes it lighter, like the load is lighter, right? Because when you have a washing machine, sometimes you, you just throw away your clothes, you just keep on changing. And then I also, I, st I also have one tip about yoga. Okay, about if you do, if you are an exercise geek or a buff, exercise buff or gym buff or whatever. Okay, maybe you do this already, but maybe I can share some, I don't know, hey guys, wait, I, something, there's a private uh, thing that was left, I, I hung it, <laughs> guys, this one is my tie for my yoga, hair tie, so I also wash it, that's not, okay, so guys, here, 
For example, okay, this one is mom's leggings for whatever her wear. She got this from Divisoria. I don't know. If, the, if this one, you know, guys, hey, this one is a skirt. Anyways, for example, okay. <laughs> so, guys, for example, you have the cycling shorts that you wear. Okay, this one is a cut out from the leggings. I did this. Okay, I do this crime. I'm honest with that. <laughs> I'm a person who does, who can really unhem the hem uh, clothings and then I will restyle it. I am that, yeah. So anyways, this one, I needed something to uh, wear something under my skirt when I, when, I was, when I wanted to wear a skirt because I'm not used to wearing um, dress. I'm not the type, the <laughs> I'm kind of... Um, casual a casual person i'm a kind of a sporty not sporty how do you say that anyway so this one so guys if you're doing exercise and you hate washing too much clothes which i know some maybe does i've learned that because sometimes guys if you also watch my other live streams or vlogs you know my the boxers of my son the old ones this one, he hates talaga. Anak, I'm really sorry, but I have to share. This is mom. Sometimes, I put it under. I, of course, it's clean, guys. Ha? I'm going to cut this out, and this one is going to be the neckline. And then, it becomes a mid-rib uh, top, right? For your workout. If, you, if I'm just doing it at home, anyway, nobody's, nobody's gonna watch me. But anyways, what I do, if you are not doing what I'm doing, like uh, re uh, upcycling or... Yeah, those things were restoring clothes to make gym clothes. Uh, you, maybe just using the sport type fabric. Like, you you know, wear a swimwear for your yoga, your yoga, real yoga outfit, or your exercise thing. Kasi these are all, um, how do you call this? Absorbent. And I, how do you call that, guys? Basta, yung, basta it's, ano, it's, it dries up well when you wash it. So just wa wear those things. Like me, sometimes I have my old um, swimwear. I use it for my yoga. Aside from the things I curate for my uh, Finds TV Hobby Homeschool projects. So I just use my old swimwear clothing for my yoga. And then I, you know, soap, wash, dry. And then that's it, hang it. And then the next day it's dry already. When I wake up, it's dry already. Because you know, it's that's that's the job of the those type of clothing. And I didn't have to. Well, when when I was young, I know I know guys, those of you who are who are into exercising every day, uh that good for you. And to those who are not yet, try my 60 second uh challenge to start walking, getting up from bed. I do that. Guys, it's really a practice. It's really a practice. And while my, while my hair is like that. So, so yeah, guys. So, um, so it's just, it's, it's really a commitment to do exercise. And also, part of it is the clothing. I don't want to work out. I have those live streams, guys. If you don't want to work out, what are other excuses you can tell me? Right, I've, I've said that already, those excuses, I did that those already, so there's no excuse, right? So anyway, slowly but surely, sabi nga. But again, so yeah, do ways to make life easier. Uh, when I was younger, I had, of course, somebody will wash clothes for me, so I have like a pile of my, this one, my rubber shoes, my socks, my bottom, my top. And that's uh, impractical. Uh, that's um, gonna, for now, I think for me personally, I don't want to say that it's impractical for you. We have different lifestyles and uh, perspectives, practice in life. I respect that, guys. But anyways, just a tip, just a hack, right? And then, guys, let's go back to the, okay, how orderly can you do cleaning? There's no such rule, guys. But anyway, guys, I need to read this because my my eyesight is really, uh, you know, I don't, I, I, I admit it, guys, I am in denial of my age, so I don't wear this, but I do wear this in 7-Eleven, right? <laughs> okay, 
Number one, washing linens in the morning. Do you believe, guys, how often do you wash linens or table or, or bed coverings? Blankets or blankie. Uh, how often do you wash your rugs in the house? Like the carpet, small carpets. Honestly, well, honestly, I don't, I don't wash my linens every day. That's going to, for me. That's not, that's not me. So if you, lucky you, if you have a washer, you washer, um, you start, you want to start doing that. Like, um, if you uh, miss like uh, washing clothes or in order the cleaning, how to do chores, maybe. Uh, it makes sense maybe that because bed is um, one of the most used um, thing at home, maybe washing your linens in the morning is best. Or you do it every three days. Uh, 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 honestly, me, I do it every week. Every week is the, the shy type uh, declaration. <laughs> but sometimes... Um, I'm honest. I neglect sometimes two weeks because, you know, you. I, I personally, I, I do. I, I try to not. Uh, I sometimes eat still in on my bed, but I try to. Of course, if I, you know, if it has to be washed, right? So again, so it says here, guys, some of the things I've um, researched, guys, that you can wash linens. Or in the morning, the rugs, everything. Of course, it will, it will gonna, it will dry up at the end of the day, and you can put it back. Not unless you have an extra or spare to cover your beddings, right? So again, if you're lost in life, which is which? How do I start? Um, so you start with your kumot, your blankets, your pillowcase. Just throw that in the washer. Or if you are a, a superwoman or a superman, uh wash by hands okay next um this is also okay the next thing is you might also want to check uh if all the cleaning supplies are complete before you start cleaning refilling disinfectants how often do you use those things because me i have started collecting those guys huh? wait i'm going to show you guys wait. let me just it's such a mess here, guys. Guys, I'm really sorry for the ano. Hi. Teka lang, guys, ah. I'm going to get something. Guys, are you still there? Okay. Guys, okay, this one's... If you have an old drawer... And nagduduling kasi ako guys, I'm cross-eyed when some... <laughs> if you have an old drawer and you have a slot to put all your stuff here. This is my hardware stuff, cleaning stuff, it's everything here. I know I have to organize. I found a tool with toolbox, like you know, for men. They have those small compartments, cabinet. It's so cute guys, I'm going to organize it. But I wanted to put uh, flour... Uh, for my teaching, baking, I'm going to go back teaching na guys eh. I hope you attend my class. <laughs> but anyway, still on the planning stage. But anyway guys, so these ones, I have here a box of, which I'm, I show, I will show in my videos, upcoming shorts. Uh, all my rags, I have not folded, but these ones are old shirts of mine. I had to just cut out. So this one is a full um, shelf of you know, steel brush, those stuff, baking soda, of course, this is my favorite, so, uh, arm and hammer, bacana man, bacana man, and then that to put it, right, so, yeah, these are usual cleaning things, like, since, guys, I don't have, I don't have a partner, so, I'm trying to, for us single people out there, let's try to, you know, uh, study things about repairing, restoring because it's gonna save us time, energy, and cost. I always, uh, I, how do you call this? I always promote that because, yeah, it saved a lot. You know that, right? For those of you, or not even those, even if you're, you know, you have partners, you also have to know, right, how to do it. I don't have, I don't know how I'm going to survive if my car breaks down, you know. 
what you do is you call, right? But how do you do the basic things like uh, when you get a flat tire or it just breaks down in the highway? Yeah, I have a friend who called me one time. My God! How do I survive this? I'm single, she said. Oh, what happened to you? I didn't wake you up. She, she told me, I didn't wake you up because I was driving home from, from somewhere. She went from a party in Katipunan. And <laughs> she was telling me the next day, I got, I realized how, it, how it's hard to be single. <laughs> right, guys? So, especially girls, women, we have to know that, right? So, let's read uh, things that will improve uh, how to make life easier. And women, even if you have partners, I know. Alright, so I do have this tawas for cleaning. Guys, did you know? Yeah, you would know about it when I put out my videos. Acetone, I have that. The peroxide. I have been a geek, guys. So, do not throw all your old toothbrush. Huh? From toothbrush from you when, when you were small. Uh, you know the, the toothpaste, uh, crocodile... Guys, do you know that? If you are if you are of the same era. Anyway, so guys. So I have old jars. I have gloves here. Uh, trash bags. So anyway, yeah. That's part of my hardware thing. So, yun. Oh, just check first if you are going to clean. If you, Because sometimes if you don't have even a uh, broom to start with, you don't have a dustpan, you don't have a rag around, you're not going to get even uh, inspired. Right? Of course, it, just a simple soap. That's fine. Actually, now it has gone so really social, guys. Like, an, um, like a, a real... I don't know if it's sometimes just forma or... <laughs> But honestly, you just need a disinfectant, a soap, water, rag. That's it. Sometimes it's too, ano. You know what I learned also from my aunt who, who worked so long in Italy, which I respect so much. I I even see her up until now. I think they, they said she does this still. On the sides, along, you know, the ding-ding or the wall, the border of the wall, down in the floor, she puts salt around after cleaning up so wiping uh, sweeping and then puts salt so that you know rodents will not come will not even pass by the rats and the the ratatouille you know <laughs> so guys those tips you know we have to learn from those it's it's inspiring that there are things little things that i have ignored i have been ignoring ever since because i had somebody to clean it when i was younger you know, I have all my, I I I I I only have myself to do. It. So yeah, because mom and dad are you know, old already, so I have nothing to do anyway. Yeah. So anyway, so next is so wash linens in the morning, the rugs or the basahan. Wash it in the morning. Check and refill your cleaning supplies. Again, for now, there are so many huge brand, huge um, brands there that you know. The, now I am using baking soda during those during in the old days. I I don't even use those things, <laughs> but now like it feels like you know I have to disinfect like that. So pakiut mga ganon guys. So but then there are brands now. I don't want to say brands because of the Canaman guys. So yeah. So if you have your favorite brand cleaning materials, do so. In the thing, guys, when I go to a mall now, usually, right, you go around, you see, you check out the cinema, what's the movie. I'm, I'm, yeah, I watch movie, I watch mo a movie by myself, but now I can't do it anymore. I'm shy anyway. But <laughs> so, guys, when I go around, usually, right, you go around to see clothes, what's the fashion now, and then accessories, um, grocery, and now I go to the cleaning material section and hardware. Mind you guys, huh? I don't know, maybe really. I'm aging already. <laughs> I hope it's graceful, huh? The way I'm aging. And now, guys, the next part is, guys, uh, yeah, so do you have a list of the chores? Guys, honestly, we don't have a list. Huh? I don't want to... I, I don't want to tell you, ha, huh, that I do have a list, like a hundred of them. I have a five hundred. <laughs> no, guys, I don't have a list. Uh, I just start from, 
usually kitchen guys is the busiest part of the house right of course we um we humans have to survive so we need to eat so usually dining the dining area where people go there tell stories spend time with your family your loved ones uh the living room is a hangout place you know people also go there the members of the family watch uh the television or you tell stories there you have your friends come over um and the next is what i dread most maybe most also if you try to google it most hated place to clean first it's the bathroom guys okay guys do not be in denial huh it's the bathroom I had a video on this how to clean a bathroom because I had been a housekeeper. <laughs> I know that's not funny being a housekeeper, but can you believe I did that? <laughs> because it's part of my hospitality training. But anyway, guys, it's a skill. I think uh, I have high respect for people who really uh, uh, have made their lives for this, like. Um, I have a cousin who is a butler uh, in the States. I'm amazed how they do it for their, you know, for their employers. Uh, I didn't know that this series from shining shoes, from cleaning the colors of our whites, from uh, disinfecting. Of course, you know, we all do wipe windows. We, do you always wipe the windows? I don't. So... I neglected that so there's there's a lot of things to do at home in in fact guys so i think boredom should be um i'm i'm always bored because i have extra time because i i work for the family guys but of course i'm still bored so what do i do i clean that's the best wholesome thing to do right <laughs> and productive way to do so yeah so kitchen dining living room the bedroom i don't know why it's the last maybe the bedroom is the one of the most you are cautious with because that's your uh, space or your abode so but uh yeah so that not in orderly but if you are trying to find ways which is first so you clean the cuisine uh kitchen dining living room where the tv room is where we all read uh, where we all nook sometimes, right? After going to work or you you see each other at the end of the day with your family. The bathroom, the powder rooms. <laughs> guys, honestly, I... Okay, honestly, guys, that's the dreaded most... The dreaded place. The, the dreadful chore I do. I hate most really is cleaning the bathroom. But I have to face that fear. Um, it's because personally I didn't have a good experience in the bathroom so <laughs> anyway guys that's personal but um, up until now I still have that trauma so <laughs> I but there's no way right you just have to face it so I, I, I cleaned a bathroom so please do watch that uh, I, I, the, the easiest way I can to suggest right to, for us to you know sometimes here it's going to i'm going to tell you here uh, more ways um for us to be inspired in cleaning so again so guys uh, let's recap wash the linens the blankets the pillowcase the rugs refill and check cleaning materials do you have a list i don't have a list if you do lucky you that's good uh, do you have a list of the chores Okay, if you are masipag, if you are diligent to do it, please do so. Have a list, like oh, wipe the table, uh, dust the floor, like that. The jars, the everything. And then, because there are those really, guys, those are into really very organized people. So, uh, anyway, so how do we make kids help us in the house? Okay, I'm not an expert, guys, but I had a son um which ever since he was small i'm not a guru guys um please add to this comment down below um maybe you do this better but just uh, in my platform to just share sorry if i'm going i i've been using my the word i always because guys uh just to express that um when i when my son was young 
I hated doing incentives. But I had to tell him because he is uh one day he's going to be a family man which sometimes right it depends what path your child will choose but one day you're going to have to do these things because you're going to have a family of your own. So it was hard for me because I I I divorced early. Uh, I was only married for 4 years. So it was just me and my dad the lolo or the grandpa is just training him to do things so yeah so i hope until now guys i hope uh there are changes he's not he's not perfect guys uh, sometimes um still you know cleaning the room is a big problem but when he was small I, you also have to show your child how to clean the room i think you have to you do it with them before they follow you so Guys, not not perfect. I'm imperfect. I'm uh, I I do make mistakes, of course. I may have been like not. I may have not uh, taught him well or that much. But um, yeah. So it's a it's a thing, no. So maybe create chores or responsibilities at home, like age based. So if this is like appropriate, like if the if the child is just 10 years old, don't give them like, uh, please do the car washing. Don't do that, guys. So just do something that will, you know, they will enjoy at the same time because uh, like, you know, just um, maybe washing plastic bottles or plastic glasses and then you put them in a, you get a basin with soap and water and then it bubbles up. It's like they're having a bubble bath. Then they enjoy washing. They learn how to dishwash. Yeah, I did. I I did those with my ate, with my sister, with my pop, with my niece and nephew and my son. Whenever I'm with them, I'm like, because guys, I like teaching. Eh? That's what I. <laughs> so I I treat my this these kids like my students. <laughs> That's what I did. Like I still have the diary of my son, like his tasks when he was small. Like oh this one pull the pull your hanky like that, put back the this um book in the shelf. Those little things, it's a chore, right? Because yeah, sometimes. But I I still missed a lot. Like you know, so do age based uh tasks for them, appropriate for them. If it, if if she's already a dalaga or a nagbibinata. You can tell them like, oh, you do the dishes this time. I, I will do the dishes tomorrow and the, uh, Ate will do the dishes the, the day after tomorrow like that. So it's a give and take. Wow. <laughs> give and take. So I, can, I am an expert. Okay, and then race or maybe try to do like a racing thing, a play race with your child, with your children. If you have 10 children, wow, wow, wow. Which I regret, guys. I should have had like six children. <laughs> Because I only had one. So if, do you have one, a son or a, cha or a daughter? Now I'm already like an, an empty nester, but I'm not a retiree. So I, I don't have a son. I have a teddy bear, just a teddy bear. But yeah, guys, so do a race uh, play kind of thing. Like, okay, let's do this. Like, let's um, sweep the floor. Let's see who's gonna uh, finish first like that. So it's, you know, little tasks. Like you give them uh, small brooms of their height. So they, you know, just the, just the gist of it. They just, they, they see that, oh, this is a task. This is a task. So I have to, okay, like that. Washing the dishes because they do, they use plates at home. So they do, they have to learn how to do it. Right? So again, I was not able to impose that until my son already is already, you know, an adult already washes things. He's uh, soiled paid sometimes, but sometimes there are the days that he's lazy. So those are, you know, the human human side, right? So again, when you're when the child is not, uh, you know, doesn't like to do things with you, like in the uh, in doing chores, do not force because sometimes it's too much for them. They have other uh, happy tiny problems. So let them be, right? So again, but don't be like a soldier huh, that you have to oh. Do this like that, huh? Not like that anymore. <laughs> when I was a young mother, I I, I was like a soldier, you know. I always made sure that uh, it was all up to this like that. But now, I've already, I know, learned to let go. 
Anyway, so again, guys, so uh, okay, so after cleaning the kitchen, the dining area, the living room, the bathroom, the bedroom, whatever room you have or space in the house, if you have a mansion or whatever, um, lucky to those who have those um, uh, computerized uh, broom that goes around in the house. I have a friend, they have this because they have a so their their home is quite huge so they have that because they don't have a help to broom uh, to sweep the entire space the entire house so yeah how much is that my we got we have one here it's not working anymore it's just small anyway what i'm, I'm thinking what am i gonna do with that i'm the type guys like if i have a, an empty rice cooker i would do something with it i don't know i'm weird Anyway, so after cleaning all those spaces, you can uh, start sweeping the floor. Maybe it makes sense, right? That after taking out the debris, all the dirt, all you've dusted, everything, all, all the things has gone down to the floor, onto the floor. So you have to, maybe the last part, you have to sweep it generally, right? And then you mop it. And then this one is just pakyut, sanitize. I mean, in you guys, do you have sanit? <laughs> Do you sanitize at all? <laughs> Not unless it has been, we've gone through pandemic, right? But yeah, so sweep, mop, sanitize. So, well, we have the facilities. Uh, then let's do practice that. Basta guys, uh, yeah, so sometimes guys, okay, if the child agrees agrees with you, okay, mom, I want to I want to do the chores with you. I want to bake with you. I want to cook with you. Like that, you like, that's a very good um connotation that they are enjoying the chores but if you don't want them to burn out or you too i too gets burned burnt out how do you say that guys can you can you check the grammar i don't have google now uh <laughs> take breaks with your child or with your partner if you're cleaning the whole house right i'm pretty sure parents know that right uh so take a snack okay so uh turn on the music it says here Turn on the music, guys, also when you're cleaning. or Do, do you do that, guys? Do you do that, guys? I, I, it helps, really. Music. Um, it does uh, really make us like, you know, that you, you get that softer mood, right? While cleaning, while scrubbing. No, uh, during the old days, you just turn on your radio or transistor. And that's it. You only have the AM and the FM stations. <laughs> But now you have a lot of choices, right? The playlist, your favorite jazz rhythm or whatever, your uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, 1940s. Yeah, so play the music while cleaning with the children also, with members of the family, even if with your ates and kuyas at home. Um, so take breaks, guys. So importante, if the, if the kids are lazy, if you think they wanted to take a nap or run in the garden to play for a while with the dog or your pet, whatever, uh, see their playmate for a while in the backyard, let them. Because if, if you are too strict then, they, they will think the chore is like, the chore is so dreadful. I don't want it. Mommy's like a soldier or daddy's like this. So let's not force them. Let them see that ah, it's enjoyable. So the, these two, they will also pass on to their offspring, right? So, wow. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, did you know I have a trivia for you, ha? Huh? This one I try. I still fail doing this. I, I did not, I tried not, okay, when you wake up in the morning, right? Of course, the habit is, I tried this, guys, huh, for two weeks straight now. I tried sometimes, right? Nag, uh, yes, because you turn your alarm, your alarm. So I wake up in the morning, four o'clock, four o five ish, four o ten ish, four ten ish like that. So the alarm, the alarm alarms. I turn it off, and I promised myself, even if it's still dark, I will turn on my torch, the light, to do my prayer thing in the morning. Okay. But because even before I do, you you check your social media, <laughs> how many views like that. So I, you know, it's really a type of uh, cleaning is like for me and your practice, your discipline is like really 
your commitment to yourself also. Because if you're getting used to things like uh, this one, this uh, pants, I'm just gonna fold that later. And until you see a pile or a mountain of pants in one corner of your room. Because that single thing you started just throwing it away like that. So, it's really a matter of practice. Uh, I hope I'm able to practice that all the time, but I really am still human, so we are human. So sometimes we just read or learn from others, right? And sometimes you just get that inspiration. You know what, guys, what hit me, why, why I was into cleaning more in this channel, Finds TV Hobby Homeschool, since I suffered from depression, which I'm not shy about because I had to tell you uh, what I, I've gone through. And cleaning is one of the things I uh, helped me, that helped me also to, you know, feel better. Like, uh, it's a therapy for me too. So while you're scrubbing things, you're washing, you're cutting things, you're doing projects, it really uh, inspires me, motivates me. So all the more sharing it with you guys. So I hope... Maybe this has been a problem, like, oh, how am I going to clean? How, how, why are people in the house that not helping? Or maybe it was because it was not really analyzed, right? So, again, the house is still a mess. Um, the leaves outside, you know, the it's summer now, so all the dried up leaves, guys, I used to sweep that for many years. So many leaves, guys, as in fall leaves, like the ones in the states, like a thick uh, layer of um, pollen leaves. Uh, I have tired, I, I got tired of sweeping already because I still need to do things inside the house. So sometimes it's just that. And I let him be because it's just his exercise. It's a, He's a senior citizen. So sometimes also guys, I also share uh, some, um, some clips about my parents uh, living with them. So if you have parents, old, old folks who you live with, um, be grateful. Let's be grateful that we have them still around. But also, we learn from them. Even so, guys, if they are old already, they've gone through a lot in life. And sabi nga nila, they say in Tagalog, papunta ka palang pabalik na kami. So... Uh, even so, sometimes, right, guys, you get burnt out like, ah, my parents are so makulet like that. But they are the ones who established everything. That's why our lives are convenient, right? So, yeah. So, uh, I also wanted to share that to you because I, I learned so much. We learned so much from old people also, from people uh, of different uh, walks in life, right? So, different paths. That's I wanted also to learn uh um the thing i wanted to uh share the, those things i wanted to share with you guys because it might be a uh um an enlightening uh subject for you so this might be you know just your hope you know maybe so if you are in a situation like you've given up in life i i also have to tell this because i go through that i've gone through that i go through it so don't lose hope. There's always hope. So when, when you're sad, when you're happy, clean. Really, this is not a baloney, guys. I'm telling you, when you clean, I know. I don't know, I feel good. Like I restored a bag. If you see my vlogs, I restored a leather bag. I was sad that time. I just cleaned that. And you know, the, just the thought of just the thing that you're doing, you're scrubbing things, it, it's like it's cleansing your soul. You guys, do you get me? I know. I'm being dramatic or a geeky. But yeah, there's something about cleaning that takes away any worries load. That's the that's a deeper that's a deeper meaning. Why? The deeper reason, the in-depth reason why I wanted to share this to you. Chores at home. Because it it does not just beautify materially environmentally the place or the things around you but also mentally and spiritually it does something to you i don't know my breads I've, I've been reading about it i buy books i read books about it yes books yes they're still you have you can go to you know those book sales in the mall guys huh you're we're used to browsing things online right so try to also rest your eyes 
and check out some bargain books. There are informations out there. I'm not being a guru there, but naturally, yeah. What if there's no Wi-Fi anymore, guys? How are, how 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 is it going to be like, right? It's going to be hard, right? Because we we got used to, like you know, just one click, you just Google something, and then the answer comes out, right? So yeah, those little things, guys. I hope you learned so much today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Find TV Hobby Homeschool. Your support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you've noticed, I have about more than 400 videos and I only have 208 subscribers. I appreciate all your support, subscribing or not. Uh, just the fact, life is not about likes. Life is not about subscribers. But really, just to touch a soul is one thing that's important to me. Not, not Guys, the, ano, that's, that's just a bonus, right? But if you want to subscribe, then do so, please. I'm begging <laughs> And then please pass this on to your friends who have, who are, who are, um, you know, having a hard time in how to start cleaning. Uh, how, how do I get motivated? I'm not inspired in life. Generally, guys, sometimes, right? Um, honestly, like, now it's not every day. Like, it's, it's not every day. Like, it's a bed of process, right? <laughs> As they say, right? So, you always find ways. Like, hobbies. Um... Uh, please visit my vlog about um, why invest in hobbies because these are the things that inspire you. It, this, it, this fuels you. Whatever you like to do in your spare time, that's a hobby. And lucky you if you have gone to doing it as a business, if you earn from it. So yeah, hobby, finds TV, hobby homeschool. So guys, um, I hope I... Um, Shared to you just as much as, um, you know, I just read uh, currently. But I will add to this. Um, I hope uh, that you are currently uh, in the same stage that, you know, finally you have, got, you have decided to, okay, I'm going to start that. Right? So, uh, so guys, and also, guys, the power of taking a shower at night. You do that, guys. One more thing. It's a good tip, guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, really. Taking, um, uh, it's, uh, you sleep well when you clean, when you're always, when you sleep, uh, when you sleep, uh, clean, you wake up clean. You get me, guys? So, yeah. So, you start, it starts with you. No. So, I, before I, I, talk about this of course i had to really practice it first right so again guys maraming maraming salama thank you so much for your support take care guys take care guys thank you how do you turn this off oh my god how do you turn this off thank you so much po how do you turn this off yikes guys Nabaliktad ko. This is the same. How do you turn this off? Guys, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs>